Thank you. Thank you. Colleague Nadzimi, you have the floor for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <coughs> Dear colleagues, the inflation rate in the euro area re reached 10 percent in September 22, while in some member states hitting 24 percent and up inflation. Most importantly, the continuous increase of the electricity prices is putting in pressure and difficulty our citizens, our businesses, and especially those households at risk of poverty and those of vulnerable groups and SMEs. We are welcoming this debate on the state of the regions and cities so that we can discuss on how we can contribute to our citizens and businesses at regional and local level. First of all, as representatives of local authorities, we are the ones feeling the direct pressure from our citizens and businesses, as, and also the need to react swiftly in times of crisis, especially when governments are not able to do so. In the long term, we have to stick to our strategic goals to take measures in line with the Green Deal <coughs> objectives and to support the EU's strategic autonomy. However, in the mid and short term, we have to deal with the current crisis, which requires swift and efficient measures. We have to underline that households across all member states face the challenge of lowering purchasing power, in particular low-income households, because of the skyrocketing food and energy prices. Our citizens should not be put in a situation to choose between purchasing of food and heating. And our priority should be to ensure that our citizens and business benefit from secure and affordable energy. Of course, we are working on energy saving strategies. However, we need more guidance from the Commission on which should be the measures to be applied in practice in order to ensure these savings without creating and disrupting of public services. Dear colleagues, the link between the decisions taken at EU and national level and their impact at regional and local level remains very important. For example, the implementation of the recovery and resilience facilities instrument differs from one member state to another because all depends on the efficiency of the decisions taken by the governments. On the issue of the energy crisis, member states should be the main actors responsible for their own energy mix and should be able to take temporary and targeted energy market interventions, for example, applying a reduced rate of tax on energy or applying compensations. However, the main challenges would be how and when, especially before the start of the winter season. As local representatives, we need to prioritize EU initiatives and projects which would have a direct and visible impact at regional and local level, improving the everyday life of our citizens and businesses, especially SMEs. The constructive dialogue with our national but also EU authorities will enhance our European solidarity. By finding solutions, the current crisis, the Union will prove to be accessible to closer to its citizens. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Colleague